saturated canary fans this is Carissa and I am here with a video that I'm going to show you how to make uh, shrinky dink charms using digital images from saturated canary so I've already uh, printed out my images on the shrinky dink I'm actually using a clear shrinky dink they also have a white shrinky dink um, I like using the clear though because I can color on the reverse side of what I printed out and um, not worry about any smearing. If you're not using a laser printer, this is a good idea um, because you won't have to worry about your markers smearing your images. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out around my image, um, just using the top of a Scentsy uh, candle um, warmer so I can get a rough idea of what I want to cut out around the image. You want to use something larger. Uh, you can use like a grand, um, any of your grand eyes would be good because um, when you shrink it, it's going to shrink um, quite a bit. And so that's why I like to use the digital images because I can print them out larger than I normally would use um, if I was just putting them on a card and then I can use a larger shape to cut them out and when they when we put them in the oven to shrink um, they'll be a decent size and it won't be so tiny you won't be able to see the um, image so I'm just cutting them out and I'm actually going to be coloring using Copic markers on the reverse side of where my printed image is. I like doing this. It just it prevents any smearing if there were was going to be any. And um, using the clear, you can do this. If you use a white shrinky dink um, and you don't have a laser printer, just be careful. Don't get too close to the black lines because you might get some smearing or smudging when using with your markers. Uh, with shrinky dink. And Copics, um, it's kind of a different coloring uh, technique than you would on paper. You're not going to get a whole lot of shading on not or blending, um, but that's not really what you're looking for. You're just looking for when you're using Shaky Dink something that's going to be unique. Um, you can make earrings, you can make a charm for a necklace, you could make ornaments for Christmas, um, you can make bookmarks using ribbon uh, with a Shaky Dink at the top. I created little charms for my kids that they can use on their backpacks or purses. So lots of great ideas um, when using Shrinky Dink uh, for different uh, gift ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just let you kind of see the coloring come together. And I hope you enjoy this project. Hope you're enjoying the Saturated Canary channel and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.
Okay, so now I'm done coloring um, each of my images and what you want to do before you put them in the oven is punch a hole if you're going to use them for earrings or charms or anything like that. Um, you want to punch a hole before you shrink them. And um, just follow the directions on the shrinky dink package. Normally it's 275 in the oven. Uh, bake it for about three minutes. These actually, the clear ones, took a lot longer than that to fully shrink. But here they are, um, all the way shrunk down after they've been heated in the oven. I prefer doing it in the oven than doing it with a heat gun just because you get an even um, uh, heat of the uh, shrinky dink and it, it's less likely to curl or warp. Even though it'll curl in the oven, it, it'll be less likely to end up that way when it's all the way done. So there they are. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the new Saturated Canary YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a great week. Bye.